Demu Borger, Death Cult Armageddon, 2003, depicts a demonic army in an apocalyptic scene, matching the grandiose symphonic black metal sound of the album. Shining, Holmstead, 2007, dark and nihilistic imagery reflecting themes of self-destruction and depression, characteristic of Shining's music. Nargaroth, Black Metal Istkrieg, 2001. The cover pays homage to the early Norwegian black metal scene, featuring corpse paint and a dark, desolate landscape. Burzum, Ask, 1993. A photograph of a burnt down church, symbolizing the infamous arson attacks connected to Varg Vikerns and the Norwegian black metal scene. Enslaved, Frost, 1994. A minimalist cover depicting an icy landscape, perfectly aligned with the album's title and atmosphere. Blasphemy, Fallen Angel of Doom, 1990. The flaming winged demon is an iconic war metal image, violent and provocative. Leviathan, the tenth sublevel of suicide, 2003. The theme of suicide is depicted through bleak and disturbing imagery, reflecting the dark nature of Rest's music. 1349. Hellfire, 2005. A face engulfed in flames, a disturbing and powerful image, evoking hell and fire as central themes. Tuck. Overbjorgen Grater Himerik, 2002. A masked figure in a dark and chilling atmosphere, evoking pagan and demonic elements. Beherit, Drawing Down the Moon, 1993. The black and red cover with occult symbols evokes dark rituals and esoteric themes. Venom, Black Metal, 1982. The satanic goat at the center of this minimalist cover defined the aesthetic of black metal for decades. Carpathian Forest, Black Shining Leather, 1998. BDSM imagery with dark, sexual, and provocative symbolism aligned with the band's provocative nature. Tuck, Natested Sir Porton Vid. 1999. A bleak, wintry landscape reflecting the cold, meditative atmosphere of Norwegian black metal. Watte, Lawless Darkness, 2010. Hellish imagery representing chaos and destruction with a clear satanic theme. Satyricon, Nemesis Divina, 1996. A mystical and arcane figure surrounded by occult symbolism and a medieval atmosphere. Mayhem, De Mysterious Dom Satanus, 1994. The dark blue, gothic cathedral on the cover creates an aura of mystery and sacrilege. Dissection, Storm of the Light's Bane, 1995. A cold and gothic scene featuring the Grim Reaper on horseback, representing death and desolation. Marduk, F. Kimmy Jesus, 1991. Depicts a woman engaging in a sexual act with a crucifix, banned in several countries for its blasphemous content. Gorgoroth, Pentagram, 1994. A direct use of satanic imagery, with the pentagram central to the artwork, symbolizing defiance against Christianity. Emperor, in the Nightside Eclipse, 1994. A dark and epic fantasy scene, featuring gothic castles and surreal landscapes, emblematic of the band's symphonic sound. Immortal, pure holocaust, 1993. The members in full corpse paint, creating a frosty, otherworldly atmosphere. 
Bathory, under the sign of the Black Martin, 1987, features a powerful horned warrior symbolizing occult power and an aesthetic that influenced the black metal scene. Dark Throne, a blaze in the northern sky, 1992. The black and white image of Nocturno Culto in corpse paint has become an emblem of Norwegian black metal. Burzum, Philosophen, 1996. A melancholic painting evoking Norse folklore and mysticism. Atmospheric and minimalistic, it perfectly matches the mood of the album. Dark Funeral, Atera Totus Sanctus, 2005. The cover depicts a demonic figure with spread wings, set against flames and shadows. Clad in dark armor and crowned with horns, the figure symbolizes defiance against holiness. The black and red color scheme reinforces its menacing anti-religious themes. <laughs>